What happened on the football field of Star Academy here in Dearborn Heights led to criminal charges against four senior players and a grade three concussion for the quarterback of the other team. But tonight there is controversy over those charges. It's hard to see in this video exactly what happened, but you can see in the photo that 15-year-old P.J. Gousset of Lutheran Westland High School ended up flattened after being hit. I saw him coming from every, every side. It happened at the end of the game with Star Academy. Lutheran was way ahead. P.J.'s dad, who is a coach, says the refs told the players to stay away from the young quarterback, who was going to take a knee and run out the clock. But police say the players charged anyway. PJ's mom was in the stands. I'm not sure how he went flying through the air, but he did. He landed face down and didn't move. And I've never been so scared. But um, at that point, I remember hearing myself scream, and you can hear that on the tape. It's taken almost three months, but four senior players from Star are charged with assault and battery, a misdemeanor. PJ, who suffered a grade three concussion, missed some school, suffered dizziness and memory loss, says it's hard to believe it happened. I guess wondering what was going through their minds to think that was okay to do what they did to our team. If this had happened anywhere else, not on a football field, if this happened on a street corner, clearly um, there would be people arrested, there would be consequences. And so just because it happened at the end of a football game, I don't think... Um, that this should be any different. But now the lawyer for the four players is saying they were charged because they are Arab American and for no other reason. Oh, absolutely. We have no reason then, there's no logical reason but to think that the only reason that they charge these individuals because of their ethnicity, because they are Arab Americans. The lawyer for the four players charged will be holding a press conference tomorrow. We'll be there and bring you the very latest, but Dearborn Heights police are saying tonight the charges stand. In Dearborn Heights, I'm Cheryl Choden, 7 Action News.